The next snake we're going to show you is called the mole snake. And this one is warning us. It's a very common snake in Africa. It's a non-venomous constrictor. But they can be vicious. Hi, my name is Mike Perry from African Reptiles and Venom. Um, today we're going to speak about the mole snake. A lot of people confuse the mole snake with other snakes of similar body size. A very common large constrictor that you get in uh, Sub-Sahara Africa. To recognize a mole snake, very easy. See there's very small head, pointy snout, and very thick muscular mid-body. So it's very easy to ID these snakes. A lot of people confuse the mole snake with snakes like cobras, etc. The cobra of similar size will have a much larger, wider head. So this is a very easy way to identify these snakes. Um, they come in a number of color varieties. The one you see here is very common over the Highfeld region of uh, Southern Africa. It's the uh, dark brown with the uh, yellowish orangey stomach. Um, these snakes when they are young have patterns on them and they very often confuse with uh, many other of the uh, smaller snakes that have patterns on them. But when they're young they've got a red eye so it's easy to recognize that eye and the uh, pointy snout. As I said it's a non-venomous snake so it's a, a glyph snake uh, but it's got a mouth full of teeth and those teeth can inflict serious wounds. Um, these snakes are quite vicious when you encounter them, and that's why they're also needlessly killed, because people think if it's so vicious it must be a dangerous snake. And it's just defense that the snake is displaying. So I'm going to try and open the snake's mouth so we can actually see what's in that mouth. All right. The top jaw, you've got four rows of needle sharp recurved teeth and they lie right next to each other and when the snake bites it's got a habit of once it's bitten it does a quick withdraw and twist the neck and with that action those teeth can slice you open and if it grabs you on the finger it'll leave you with two parallel cuts about um, eight to ten millimeters apart and you probably would need to get stitches for that type of a bite. Now these snakes are very good to have around because they are non-venomous and when they are fully grown their favorite prey are rodents. Um, they call mole snakes because they have the habit of sticking their head into loose sand especially when they find a uh, mole burrow they'll stick their hand the, the head in the in the ground, find where the tunnel is and then go in. And then obviously it's going to dine on the occupants. Very powerful constrictors. Uh, the scales on the body is a mixture of keeled and smooth scales. And um, another interesting fact about these snakes is they don't lay eggs. Um, the female retains the um, eggs in the body. The egg has only got a membrane around it. The baby snake fully develops in that membrane. And when they are fully developed, the female will lay the baby snake in that membrane. Once the baby snake comes out of the uh, mother, they'll see light through the membrane. They'll wiggle, break the membrane, and off they go into the bush. So there's, with snakes, there's no parental care. Uh, once the female has laid the eggs or she's given birth to them, she leaves and they leave. Now in terms of size, most often these snakes are in the length of about 1.2 to 1.5 meters. That's the most common size we do find them, but they can grow over 2 meters in length. So they're 
can be quite large and very powerful constrictors. So that is the mole snake. Very pointy snout, very small head, and very thick mid-body. Distinguishes it from many other snakes that people might confuse it with. Here at African Reptiles and Venom, we uh, supply snake handling equipment in the form of uh, hooks, snake tongs, uh, face shields, goggles, holding bins, as well as holding tubes, as well as kit bags where you can put all your equipment in. And we also provide snake handling training. We've been supplying equipment and training since January 2000. So we are one of the oldest companies in this field in South Africa. If you're interested in joining us on any of our uh, snake training courses, please go to our website and uh, sign up there. And we hope to see you here very soon in the future.